uh, defeated the uh, human Jeopardy champions uh, a few years ago uh, through artificial intelligence was made available to us. Are you done? Yeah, okay. you're ready. Thank so uh, I'm going to take five minutes just to do the uh, PowerPoint, uh, just because we we'll set up the the technology that you can watch, uh, and and the Brian will come in and, and uh, do the technology part. So. Um, Artificial intelligence. We call ourselves the AI bridge company because we could, we wanted to bridge uh, uh, AI, which is uh, mostly in the realm of uh, ivory tower universities, to bring it down to the main main street or ordinary people. This is this work. So uh, our mission was to enable superhuman abilities for everyday people through AI aided technologies. And what I mean by superhuman is making, uh, encapsulating uh, super strength. Uh, in this case, it's a soldier with an exoskeleton to do bigger and, and things that uh, a normal human couldn't do. Um, so the problem is that the data is, is growing uh, tremendously, and uh, as, as you know, and uh, the growth of both structured and unstructured data. So right now it's an insights arms race. What do, I, what do I do with all of this information and how can I get my hands into information that's useful? Well, uh, and it's very important because actually data is growing even faster. So the solution is to enlist AI technologies to sift through all of this information that's coming in, right? Uh, use smart agents to actually determine what's important and what's not important to interrupt us, right? Uh, when they find something that's important uh, and, and, gi and give us the information for uh, our action. And to just repeat that, and as we, we repeat that process, we'll allow the, the bot to understand and, and, and uh, learn more about uh, what's important to us. So human, superhuman abilities are now are, are being available now, right? Freestyle chess is really just computers with chess, algorithmic training, and anytime you see someone like uh, uh, downloading uh, stuff from a, a truck, uh, for example, with a hand truck, is also using superhuman abilities. And now AI enhanced decisions is, is uh, right up there. So what we do is uh, we can't absorb 99% of the data we save, so smart agents analyze our personal and business data feeds. These, uh, these bots interrupt us, and over time, they get better and better at anticipating and assisting us with context, and we just repeat the process. Bots are smart agents, and Slack bots, the stuff, stuff that's inside, sitting inside your Slack, uh, can be made uh, intelligent uh, and handle a lot of the intelligence that goes through a conversational flow. Um, bots can listen so that they can gauge, for example, this is the, the technology that we use, which is a proof of concept. Uh, sentiment, right? Are, is, is, is the conversation that I'm having with Brian escalating to where I'm getting irritated already, right? Uh, and to flow the control, to control the flow of, of the conversation to particular transactions if we need to. Um, so in this case, the last uh, uh, use case is sentiment of the community by analyzing the tone of the conversation. Uh, uh, and, and to trigger a response uh, by the AI. Uh, we use a lot of uh, stuff from, uh, from IBM uh, that we eventually did use. So without much further ado, I'll turn it over to Brian. example of what we have here. Um, we implemented a Slack bot that uses AI technologies from IBM Watson. Um, so basically what happens is you say something that sort of doesn't trigger, trigger any sort of tone, you know, threshold, nothing happens. But if you say something like, ah, I'm so angry, like, you get a response from the bot. Um, it analyzed five different tones. It was like joy, fear, anger, disgust, and one other, so I'll show you that. So, say I type, like, I am neutral, I get nothing, but if I say I am going to vomit, 
it says, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I guess the point is, yeah, the conversation is going into a very harsh sort of tone, to sort of steer it back to like, hey, settle down. Um, so let me show you. So this is some of the data that we're getting from the API. You can see that second to last dictionary is when I said I am neutral, so it shows some um, levels. These levels are between zero and one. So for neutral, it didn't trigger a threshold in any sort of dominant tone. For that last one where I said I'm gonna vomit, uh, you can see the dominant tone is disgust. It has a score of 0 0.5 um, on the disgust level. So let me show you some of the award-winning code. So what API is this? Woo! We use both the Slack API oh, to um, <laughs> to talk to Slack and then the IBM Watson Tone Analyzer API um, that will handle all of the data. code is actually pretty simple, like we spent a lot of time thinking about what to do and how to do it, and in the end, like, we, pro we probably could have done this in about five minutes if we really need to. Um, so you see here, I require the Watson API, so Watson provides an SDK, um, you can install it using NPM, so if you're doing Django, it's sort of like when you do um, PIP3 install, whatever, it's this great package. Um, and this bot kit is, um, it's an abstraction on top of the Slack API that was released by, um, I believe, one of the GitHub teams that used to make Howdy AI, which is another Slack bot. Um, so this makes it really easy to start working with Slack. Um, if you look down here, this right here, this Aziz controller on, this is an event listener. So it's very similar to in JavaScript when you're listening to DOM events. Um, basically working the same way, but for Slack events. So on here I say, um, listen for ambient messages. This means anything that isn't a direct message to the bot, or it doesn't mention the bot. And we analyze the tone. So it says API.tone analyzer. You pass in the message text. And what you get back um, asynchronously is this tone. The tone is like that, that dictionary I showed you in the terminal. Actually, that was only a piece of it. There was a lot more information, but we just took like the first five things that we saw and we're like, all right, we'll work with this. So I go in, I grab those, put them in a dictionary. These are all the scores. And then um, I have a, a number of responses for each one. So you can just keep adding to this list so to make it look like the bot is more intelligent. Um, and then down here, I try to determine, well, what's the dominant tone in the message? So I just iterate through them, I keep a record of the highest one, I check if it's higher than our predetermined thresholds, in our case 0.4 seems to work good, but it would be better even if you had like a different one for each tone, because maybe anger is like more important than when somebody is like too happy, you don't really care. <laughs> um, and yeah, so then it just picks a random response out of the dictionary for each tone, and that's about it. Yeah.